And hey there, it's me, Mudlink, and welcome back to some more Lost Sanity Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Mode Nuzlocke. So last time, we made it all the way here in the Team, Ro in Team Rocket title in the game corner. We beat Erica. It was a very fucking good battle. We did lose a Pokemon against Erica, and then we lost quite a few Pokemon here. We lost three Pokemon in this area. I lost Kiara because I'm a fucking idiot. And I lost Nix and Gajil because I kind of need to stack them off. So this time, we're going to be facing off against Giovanni, getting the self scope, and then, of course, going to the Pokemon Tower and seeing what else we do after that. So, anyway, so I have a strategy that can go really well as long as. At least one roll doesn't happen. Well, not two of them, technically, I guess, but mainly one. If I get a, if I get, if, uh, if there's a bad, if I get bad luck with one of his Pokemon with a crit, then this could conceivably end the run. But I don't think so. So anyway, let's do a. A team recap because this team is completely is gonna be this this team is quite different from what the last one was because of how this fight is. Anyway, here's the team right now. So first here we got Dovahkiin, the Aerodactyl, Adamant Nature with the Muscle Band with the Pressure with the moves Rock Slide, Dual Wing Beat, Crunch, and Iron Head. Then we got Frost, the Sand Slash, with Impus Nature with the Wide Lens with the Ice Scales with the moves Icicle Crash, Iron Head, Bulldoze, and Spiky Shield. Then we got Nishiki, the Gyarados, Zadman Nature with the Walk and Berry. With Intimidate with the moves Aqua Fang, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Scary Face. Then we got Terra Volt, the Lantern is Bold Nature with the Shuka Berry with, with Wall of Volt Absorb, with Thunderbolt Scald, Parabolic Charge, and Signal Beam. And then we got Bonkai, the Age of Slash is Brave Nature with the Citrus Berry, with, of course, the Dance Change with the moves Gyarable, Shadow Sneak, Sacred Sword, and King Shield. And lastly, we got. Edelgard, the shiny Edelgoss, use Bold Nature with the Citrus Berry with the Generator with the moves Giga Drain, Hyper Voice, Rapid Spin, and Cotton Spore. So each member here serves a very vital role to this fight. And this fight, at least in the original game, in the original run, like was in the, like, the version I played before, was kind of easy. It was still a little bit difficult. So I was happy with this, but this looks very fun. But also very exploitable because the Aegis Slash. You're, you're gonna see why. So here we are. The first Giovanni fight. Out of many. So first, she starts off in front with Infernape, level 47, which is Jolly Nature with the Blaze, with the Focus Sash, with the Moose Powerball, Close Combat, Thunder Punch, and Stealth Rock. So yeah. There's a chance that I can't I don't kill here with dual wing beat either by missing or just a low roll, but most likely I'm gonna kill this guy. That's because I don't want him to get up his stealth rocks. Yeah, I win. With, and for that roll at least. So no stealth rocks for this for this match. Next he's gonna send out Torterra, who's level 47, who's jelly nature with Rockhead with the wider with the move Shell Smash, Earthquake, Wood Hammer, and Head Smash. So he's gonna go for Head Smash right now. Although if it goes for Shell Smash, that's gonna be a bit dicey. So hey, this is where Frost comes in. Yeah, there you go. There's the Head Smash. Now this is why I have the Wide Lens, so I don't miss High School Crash. Although there's still a small chance I can, but uh, it's very, it's still very small. So there you go. That roll is good. It, this fight is a little bit RNG. For my strategy, it's a little bit RNG dependent. One well, a lot, actually. I just popped the mic by accident. Here is where the run could potentially end. So here's Nitto King. Hang on a second, for fuck's sake. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. This fucking phone call. So anyway, here's Nitto King. Stimulate you with the sheer force of the life orb, but the moves Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Flamethrower, and Thunderbolt. So. So if they're gonna go for Earth Power or Flamethrower, either one is fine. So we're gonna go out to Nishki, which is why I have the Walkenberry. 
Now, this could be bad. I could either not kill with Aquafang, because a low roll will not kill, or he... An Thunderbolt crit has the potential to kill. So... Either it's fine if Nishiki does go down here, because I can easily... Because I, I can... Because... I mean, if there's a chance I could just lose a run if, if I did get crit there, but... Oh, I, I crit him! Holy fuck, okay. It could have been a chance I could have lost this run because of that. Anyway. Next year we got... Gyarados. Level 47. Jolly Nature with Intimidate with a Fly and DMZ with Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Earthquake, and Bounce. So... You're most likely gonna go for a Dragon Dance, which is why I have Terravolt here with... The Shuka Berry, so I can live... I can even live a plus one crit earthquake. So I don't have to worry. Thunderbolts, one shots no matter what. Well, I mean, you technically do more damage with a crit supersonic strike, but why the fuck would you go for that? Just why would you just not go for earthquake? It, it's earthquake. I just into the mic like that, sorry. Get a new fucking mic. Oh, there you go. Uh, this Gyarados is a fucking idiot. Anyway, next. Silvali. Ghost type Silvali. Who's Jolly Nature with battle armor with leftovers with multi attack, parting shot, thunder wave, and explosion. So he's not gonna go for thunder wave. He's not gonna go for parting shot, I'm pretty sure. So either he's gonna go for multi attack, which could fuck my run. Or he's gonna go what I think he's gonna go for. Yes! There goes the earthquake. So now this run is pretty much in the bag now. His last Pokemon. Kangaskhan! And of course, it's a Mega Kangaskhan. Jolly Nature with Parental Bond, of course. Power Punch, Body Slam, Crunch, and Rock Tomb. So, you notice that moveset? I'm gonna make him run out of crunches. So... Here's what I do. So... There's one, right here. Oh yeah, King Shield in this game doesn't lower attack anymore. When he gets, when a contact move hits it. But hey, it's still protect. It's still basically protect, and it can make me switch back to this form. So now it's one. It's uh, 24. So we switch between Edelgard and Bankai. Because Edelgard is a regenerator, I can pretty much live this crunch. I have the Citrus Berry just in case he crits me. Yeah, that doesn't matter there. Now he's gonna go for like now he's gonna go for power up punch or body slam. There we go. That's three. And pretty much almost fully healed from that. That's four crunches. It's gonna be five. That is why I love. This is why regenerator is one of the best abilities in the game. Because of shit like this. Imagine the mega being the thing that you can manipulate the most. Yes, seven or eight. Um, I'm just gonna write down seven because I fucking wasn't paying attention when I was talking. There you go, that's a crit, that's fine. It's gonna be nine here. It's gonna be ten here. <laughs> this is why I love regenerator. Uh, yeah, I definitely got lucky with getting this uh, in this Pokemon here. Uh, 
This is just a random shiny I got. Okay, and it's nearly out right now. Man, don't you just love this? Don't you just love when... Oh, well, let me do that. Don't you love when you can just have easy fucking strategy like this? Okay, so he's nearly out now. Uh, if my counting was right, it's warning us. I wasn't paying too much attention. <laughs> kind of just been doing this. Should be 21 right now. 22. There you go, there's a citrus berry. 23, and then 24. So he should be out. Even if it hits me with one, it's fine, because I don't take too much damage with it, because, you know, it just slashes fucking, like, strong as shit. You take so much fucking punishment there. Okay, yeah, I hit another one, that's fine. So now I get to see. Okay, so he did have another crunch in there. There you go, now he's out. Yeah, so I did count wrong, but now he's out completely. So all he has is Rock Tomb to hit. He just he hit Bonkai with, which is gonna do nothing. And. There we go. Fucking easy. The scariest thing really is that Nidoking. Okay. And I guess the Torterra if I missed the Icicle Crash, but that's not really going to happen. So of course, Bonkai is getting this fucking MVP mark for this fight. And now the level cap is at 57 or 56, I believe. Yeah, I think the level cap is 56 for the for attack battle in Silphco. I think at least, or it might be just 57. No, no, it's 56 for that fight. Or wait, what? Is it? Well, uh, you're gonna see in the layout if I'm wrong or not, why, by my words, because I'll just check later. No, I'll just fucking check now, hang on. I, I should have wrote down the level caps for like, this for the team rocket stuff. Okay. See? Right. Okay, there you go. Fucking easy. Okay. This is in no fucking. Maybe it's 55. I'll have to fucking see. It says here 55, but I want to see if I can grind up to 56 or 57. Anyway. Now we get ourselves the Sylph Scope. And there we have it. I love how the fucking guard gave me more trouble than Giovanni. Well, I guess because I didn't really do calcs for that one. Maybe, maybe that was, kind of that was why. But I mean, there we go. Anyway, uh, also yeah, I got all the TMs that I can get here because protect can. It's pointless in this game. No one can learn it. Same for swords dance. Everything else I got. So anyway. Now with that, we can go. 
Back to Lavender Town. And go inside the Pokemon Tower. So I can't go for long. Because there, there are actually like a few grunts that you can fight in the top. As well as other... Uh, as well as two other mini bosses. But I don't know if I'm going to make it that far. Although, I don't actually know where that one mini boss is, so let me check for a second. Alright, so I couldn't find it, but uh, I should know. I should know once I reach a trainer who I can't actually, like, who can't, I can't actually avoid. That's how I know. I also know I have to be careful with uh, certain things here. Because there's one little gimmick with certain Pokemon in this. So, I know it's not you. So, you've been up here before. Although, I didn't... Well, no, I've been up here actually by myself just to see something. So, anyway, we can actually catch a Pokemon here finally because I have the Sylph's Go. And Sable Knight, I don't know how good that's going to be. Uh... You look like an... Actually, no, you don't think you are... No, you're not an unavoidable trainer, so... So I have you at front just so that I can never get Destiny bonded. Okay, Dustclops. Hmm, actually, let's see. Now that's actually a... I don't know how boosted this guy is, but I mean, this could be an EV Light user. And I have one because I got it from a random raid. Because I was doing raids to get money, so I can get all those TMs. I got an EV Light from one of them. No, yeah. This clops. This looks noir. Oh, you can get... Oh, so Reaper Cloth is actually different in this game. So, you can hit all your moves with... With Dusk and War's Hustle. Oh, actually, holy shit. Okay, so... Fucking forget using Dusk Clops. Dusk Noir is where it's at. So, first things first. Quick Ball. I have 100... I have 172 fucking Quick Balls. Because <laughs> of all those raids. There we go, there's Dustclops. No, no clue what to call you. I just named me after the... It's... Phoebe, uh, That's how you spell it, right? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. So there you go. Okay, this is a trainer you can't avoid. Okay, so no going any further. Still have a team for that. And holy fuck, that person's team is stacked. Okay. Well, I don't know if I am going to actually go that far because I have to do something later. And, well, later, I actually don't know when, because I have to help out my sister with something. I don't know when she's going to call back, so... Yeah, it's going to be a shorter episode this time. That doesn't end with me just losing. But, yeah, next time is going to be a longer episode, but I'm going to go through all the Pokemon Tower. I'm going to go all through all the Pokemon Tower, you know, face off against the one Chandler, which I'm pretty sure is that person. Yeah, there's also a, a Marowak fight, which is quite different in this game, and of course, the, all the Team Rocket fights. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, so see you guys next time. Bye-bye.